Hello and welcome to Need Hrania YouTube channel. My name is Branislav Berec and in this video I'm going to talk about the upcoming design changes for the channel. As the name of the video suggests. The number of subscribers of the channel is approaching 10,000, which is a beautiful milestone. And I want to thank you all, all the subscribers and also all the Patreons of the channel, because without you, the channel would not develop as it has developed over the last three years. That's when I started the channel and uh, all your beautiful comments, uh, very kind and, and encouraging comments help me to continue with the channel. I see that uh, what I do makes sense, what I do helps you a lot. You can learn the games much faster and easier from the from my videos than just from the rule book. So this is really, really encouraging. So I'm obviously continuing with the channel, but I wanted to do some I wanted to do something to to move the channel a little bit forward, even on the graphical side, not just the content wise, but also uh, graphics wise or visually. So why do we why do we make some changes here first? We have two channels, Slovak and English channel. This is the English channel. There is also a Slovak channel. And when I started, the Slovak channel was first. Then after like one year, I started the English channel. And intentionally, I I placed two different versions of the Nithranja logo to, for both channels. I wanted to visually distinguish the channels, the, the language variations of the channel, Slovak and the English one. That was my intentional decision. Now I don't think that's a, that's a good decision any longer because it's like as if any other company would have one logo in one country and a different version of the logo in a different country. So it's one brand, it's still one, one brand, Nitranya. So both channels will have the same logo. Now, which one? One or the other? None of them. There's going to be a new logo. Because I felt like we need to have a new logo which better represents what we do. The original logo beautiful, fantastic. I really like that logo, but it was created many, many years ago, way before any, any YouTube channels were created. And I felt like uh, with these design changes, upcoming design changes, I wanted to start with the logo. So you should now see the new version of the logo, which beautifully illustrates what we do. There is an open book, which represents the rule book. And uh, that rule book, uh, well, the die above the book illustrates that it's probably a good book from the game or about the game. So it's, it's a rule book. And if that wouldn't be enough, the three letters at the bottom, H-R-A, HRA, that's a Slovak word for game. So we have the game in the name of our channel. Uh, so that those three elements together, that they illustrate it's a book about the game. And that game from the rule book is summarized into something smaller. Now, in English language, the name of the series is called Game in a Nutshell. In Slovak language, which was the original version, in Slovak language, the exact English translation would be Game in a Cube. And we have just one word for a cube. The word for gaming cube, there is no specific word like in English for a die. Uh, which is a gaming gaming cube. In Slovak language, it's just a gaming cube. So the name game in a cube, meaning in English language game in a nutshell, uh, that that game from from the rule book is summarized in a video, which is which is uh, s symbolically represented with the, with a gaming cube with a die. So even those symbols beautifully represents and illustrates what the channel does, what's the main focus on the channel. Taking the rule book, long complicated rule books, and presenting the rules of the game in the concise video. And there is a name of the channel at the bottom. In addition, I really, really like the harmony and symmetry of the logo. There is a lot of threes, threes uh, in the logo. The name has three sections, and each section has three letters. Then the book, the clip art uh, of the book has three sheets of paper on each side and the die at the, at the top of the logo has, is showing three sides, three faces. So three elements, the name, book and the die, each has three sub elements and any of those sub elements have three sub sub elements. And it all forms a beautiful triangle which is an element uh, made of three, <coughs> three lines. So that's the new version of the logo, which I really like a lot. And by the way, my main motto when designing the logo and also 
the new thumbnails was simplicity. The original logo, the current logo is really, really beautiful. I like it a lot. But the king or knight, whoever is it, it is on, on the logo, it, it is a beautiful illustration, but has lots of elements, graphical elements. So I wanted to have something simple. So the new logo is really much, much simpler. And uh, together with the logo, I wanted to have uh, simplified and new thumbnails for the YouTube videos. So you should see now the example of the new thumbnails. Again, I wanted to keep it simple and uh, I wanted to keep some connection with, uh, with the original thumbnails, especially for the game in the nutshell type of videos. So there are some graphical elements that, that uh, resemble the, the original thumbnail, but this is how those new uh, YouTube thumbnails will look like. I will use the same design for all types of videos with just different colors and different names. So to keep it uh, really in, in one, one uh, simple design. So as you see, there will be designs for um, top games, ranking, uh, ranking videos, um, some preview videos, uh, etc. Gameplay thumbnails, uh, first impression videos, which we do in Slovak language. So that's how, uh, how the new design will look like. Um, I'm very happy to see the, the comments, whether you like it or not. I've already heard that some people like the older logo better and I agree it's a really beautiful, beautiful logo. But I wanted to have something that more represents what we do with the channel now. So that's, that's, why, that's why the changes. I will implement them uh, uh, in, the, in the next couple of days. First the logos, then the thumbnail, uh, thumbnails for, uh, for the latest videos there. And slowly I will replace the, the thumbnails of the videos from, uh, from the past. So hope you like these changes. Let me know in the comments if you, if you like the new design. Um, and if you would like to learn more about the entire design process, how much time I spent on it, uh, what were the uh, intermediate versions uh, and what I went through the entire journey, you can support the channel on the Patreon. And the Patreons have an exclusive access to, uh, to uh, exclusive videos for the Patreons where in, in the latest one I already talk about this process. I go a lot more into the details. So if you'd be interested, I'd be very happy if you can support the channel and, and look, you can learn more about the entire design process. As well, if you, if you like the video, uh, you can also click the thank you button uh, just below the video. Any kind of symbolic support is very, very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching. You've been watching the uh, new video about the upcoming design changes. My name is Branislav Berec and hope to see you next time uh, with some tutorial videos.